What are your opening thoughts on Torque? I would like to start by saying it was a 10 out of 10 experience, but maybe like a four out of 10 movie. But I think the 10 out of 10 experience like just makes it a must watch for anyone who's seen Fast and Furious, knows nothing about motorcycles and is bored for an hour and a half. It is certainly a movie available to watch. Uh, no, it, <laughs> that was a solid 84 minutes of motorcycles and I did not understand most of what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you know motorcycles, I don't think you would understand any of that. fourth episode of drive-in theater this time we've got the fantastic movie torque who i'm sure nobody outside of the three of us has seen in like over a decade first off this movie starts with a terribly shot drag race between another third gen eclipse just can't get away from that car and then and then a uh a honda integra or acura rsx R if you're... rsx yo mm -hmm. that was not terribly shot that was very well shot and it was all practical. Anything they sped up looked cool. The angles were awesome. Like, okay, the shot where the motorcycle was chasing them down from like looking down with the helicopter, they sped that up, but they filmed that at like, I don't know, 22 frames a second. And it looked better than all of the fast forwarding and too fast, to be brutally honest. I mean, it wasn't the fast forwarding that did. For me, it's just like the chase shots are like all out of focus and you can't even see what's happening. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think the filming of that was awesome, and I actually want to take some of those techniques and put them into stuff that we filmed because I was so stoked on them. <laughs> I mean, it all it all struck me as just you know a knockoff of Fast and the Furious, except it doesn't look as good. Uh, so I like how they made the cars like as generic looking as possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Also, also when they get going, they 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 stop at a red light in like the middle of a desert highway with like no intersections and there, there's no uh, there's no red light in front of them like they stop like directly below it which yeah. whatever but that that light was obviously just clipped in from somewhere else but yeah so then uh, our hero ford it is he gets stuck behind these cars who are having a dumb drag race and then he just blows past them and apparently uh, there's so much wind coming off of him to knock these other cars off of the road and then their tires go instantly flat for some reason <laughs> i mean i don't know anything about motorcycles but i assume that's how they all work absolutely well when also when you do a wheelie you suddenly speed up quite a bit mm -hmm. <laughs> that's just how physics work did you notice the street signs that said cars suck yeah yep. well it, all, it only says cars <laughs> suck once it starts spinning and does an illusion before that it's like an actual street yeah yeah so then ford he goes to this diner uh, where his his ex-girlfriend, I guess she worked there or something. He's looking for her. And, uh, and yeah, he goes in this diner. He gets, like, a Polaroid picture of them. Photo says Shane and Ford. And, like, the names are so generic that I couldn't figure out which one was Shane and which one was Ford for a long time. <laughs> I was thinking, why would they pick, yeah. <laughs> for, a, for a, a movie that says car suck, why would they pick the most famous car brand's name? Yeah, exactly. As, like, the guy's name. Should have been named Ducati. <laughs> maybe like i don't know carl or something. harley <laughs> yeah yeah so then he 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 walks out of this diner and the two the two car havers uh pull in and they're just <laughs> pissed because apparently they're, they're able to drive on flat tires like a few more miles but yeah they pull in they pick a fight with him and he just whoops them immediately uh so then they kind of run away uh, he makes them pay this random kid ten dollars, which is fun, I guess. <laughs> they also push the kid down. Yeah, yeah they yeah. really make car guys look like bad guys, like right from the start. They're like everything yeah, yeah. about cars is awful, and you should just be a fan of motorcycles. Fast mm -hmm. and Furious sucks. And it's like, yeah, I I bought, two, I bought in. Yeah. My two notes for this scene say, car racist and casual child abuse. <laughs> car <laughs> car racist. Yeah, this so this premise basically seems to be built on like a non-existent feud between 
bikers and car guys. Non-existent from what I can tell. I mean, for like any biker or any car guy I've met, like they would be cool with either. You know what I'm saying? Like you see a cool bike, you're like, that's a cool bike. And I think any biker would say the same thing about a cool car. Don't you think so? <laughs> you know, yeah. So my my neighbor growing up was a professional drag racer and also owns tons and tons of bikes. And so he's like, he knows both of them and loves both of them. So mm-hmm. like all car guys that I know also like bikes and all bike guys I know like cars. Ford, before we even see his face, he's introduced with like 10 extreme close-ups of just like his knee pads and his watch uh they probably paid for all those brand shots i don't know <laughs> they got a lot of cool macro close-up shots and like pull outs and like like amazingly technical camera angles that i understand are maybe not appealing or a little cheesy mm-hmm. but like the the thought that goes into doing that and doing it well like whoever was in charge the dp killed it mm-hmm. Yeah, like the the shot of the brand of his watch, and then immediately like the like focuses in and out. That's like a cool technical shot, and it's wasted. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So then, uh, <laughs> so then his his buddies, uh, bald guy and ponytail guy, come to talk to him. <laughs> Do you even remember what their names were? They say their names like I think once. one ponytail guys. I think is like Val or something. Oh yeah, yeah. So then, buddies, I don't I don't even know their names at all. Yeah. There's, there's yellow bike guy there's the other guy and, and then there's carpe diem jacket I'm like, okay <laughs> let's, let's go jane's addiction and then cool mountain scene which that's pretty much all i remembered from that yeah, which yeah. was a really cool practically filmed bike scene and i thought okay there's not going to be cheesy effects in this movie <laughs> boy was i wrong <laughs> oh yeah yeah get into that but uh but yeah these friends they they have like no actions of their own they're just like here to follow ford on his adventure it's like it's like a final fantasy party or something that's what it feels like they're npcs exactly yeah pretty much everybody except ford is just following him (laughs) (laughs) so yeah so then they take off and they race through a million windmills is that like a real place like you you know what i'm talking about with those so many windmills like that had to have been the, fake. There, right? When when there's windmills, there's a lot of windmills. How, what's our budget for windmills? Like double it. Yeah. They probably had like a few of them in the desert and then somebody was like, let's just clone one of them a thousand times. Why not? Who cares? It's in Torque. No one cares. <laughs> At this point, we're introduced to a rival gang called the Reapers led by Ice Cube who like just like pick a fight with Ford for seemingly no reason. Uh, it's because Buddy fell off his bike while taking a nap. Yeah, they were yeah. ripping up the mountain so, so hard, which was just fair. Like, why would you be mad at someone else ripping hard? Exactly, exactly. But yeah, Ice Cube's brother is like, is like pissed at him, and he like wrecks his bike, and then Cube is like, "You owe me another bike or whatever." And then, but when he falls off ends. the bike, dude, I thought he was dead because he landed like head first and it like slid head first into a rock. I'm like, oh, they killed off this character yeah. so soon. Like, oh no, he got up. <laughs> And there's like a, a whole circle around them, and then the cops come with that sick Camaro. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. There's a bunch of like CHP Camaros in this movie too. So then they they go to this bike rally, which turns into a Kid Rock music video. Yo, my name's Kid Rock, and I'm here to rock all you kids up and down the block. Got so far and so little appeal, cause my parents paid for my record deal. Ugh. It looks like either Sturgis or Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. In the desert. Yeah. Which I I had edited, like, one of those bike rally videos once, and it was pretty much that, except much, much lower budget. He, you know, is trying to reconnect with Shane, and they basically go over the whole backstory about how he, he ran off to Thailand because he's wanted for arrest. And we find out the reason is because he... He stole a couple of bikes from Vince from The Fast and the Furious, uh, who has another name, but we're just going to call him Vince. Uh, so. Yeah, I was. I saw him. I'm like, is that the Fast and Furious guy? Like, they really did yep, not think exactly. outside the box. And then the whole Thailand thing, I feel like there was so much racist stuff and Chinese stuff oh, attached yeah, to that. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, wow, you guys like could have toned that down. But I guess it's like 2004. 
Mm. Well, I like the introduction you know. to Shane where she has that carburetor and she's just jamming a screwdriver into it. <laughs> That's how you clean it. And then and then we yeah. get Jesse James and be like, yo, here's an appearance. Oh. Yeah, that was... Yeah, speaking of racism... But yeah, that Jesse James cameo it was so nothing. He's like, if if you didn't know who that was, like you didn't know it would it was like an important person. <laughs> you think in the theater and that got like hoots and hollers. They're like, yeah, it's Jesse James. Woo! There he is. There's Jesse James. This is haircut. Like, oh, were yeah. they just like, yeah. let's make the guy from Fast and Furious look like the stupidest idiot in the world? Maybe that was their yeah, intention. My my notes just say haircut. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shane is basically telling Ford to like piss off because he ran out on her, which is fair. And then we have a scene where he like literally chases her down on on bikes, which is kind of creepy. But also they have shots of her like smiling. So I guess they did that just to make it seem less creepy. <laughs> uh, Vince shows up and he uh, he he wants these stolen bikes uh, that that Ford took, which he then explains a little bit later what the deal with that is. But then, yeah, so then he chases down his ex, which is vaguely creepy. And then he seems to teleport to catch her, which is strange. So then then we cut to a, a club scene where pretty much uh, all all of the gangs are, are hanging out at this club, I guess, after the, after the rally. There's like a metal band playing. And then a, a big fight breaks out. And then Vince and one of his goons, they choke out Ice Cube's brother, with a bike chain uh and then they they frame ford uh by just getting jamie presley to just tell the cops that it was him and i guess they don't need like any kind of other uh, other witness or any kind of corroboration it's like this one account is enough to just go after him on so <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, like the the police immediately jump on that yeah yeah <laughs> Well, I guess he was wanted anyway, so that makes sense. It seems that the club that they were in was also like they just shared the club from the Matrix. That's what I immediately thought was like <laughs> from from the Matrix is like that club that they're in. Yeah, yeah. Dragula. Yeah. So. <laughs> but that was so time period correct. That music brought me back yeah. to early high school or mid high school or Absolutely. Whatever it was horrible music i listened to then we're introduced to these two fbi agents can't really remember their names it's like the most cliche names it's like oh hanahan or some shit like that uh, now, uh, the guy's name is is yeah. mcpherson yeah yeah <laughs> we've got baby-faced adam scott uh, as one of the fbi agents and then another lady i'm not sure uh who that actress is specifically uh, if she's in anything big, but yeah, we've got Adam Scott and we've got his partner and both of them are hilarious. I kind of like these characters because they look like, they look like they like came there on the way from like a frat house or something, a frat party. It makes no his sense. His hair, his yeah. hair. I was like, who, who is this actor? <laughs> yeah. his, his wardrobe was confusing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then she's got like cornrows and she's wearing like a big leather jacket. <laughs> Like and then there's that FBI Humvee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but but that did you notice that when um, the motorcycle gang is coming up with the plot, Ice Cube's gang is coming up with the plot to kill him. They're like, we're gonna get him, we're gonna kill him, and they're all like, yeah, kill him. And they go to a wide shot, and they're like coming up with this plan right next to the investigation and right next to like a live news broadcast. I'll kill if we have to comb every inch of California. I want that boy Ford, and I want his head in Dojo's bowl by midnight. Amen? Amen. Ford plans to rat out, rat out Vince to the FBI uh, before realizing he's wanted for murder. Uh, and then there's like there's like a little scene where like some rednecks are like watching the news and they're trying to take him hostage, but then they get away. And also, also there's like this this random lady who like ponytail guy hooked up with before, and then she just decides she's gonna be part of the crew at that point, and they just like leave her behind. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. that was kind of weird. And then yeah. I guess on the way, Ice Cube's checking the map too. Like while riding a bike and like a car goes off the road and like the only yeah, time they have hilarious. cars is to like tow more bikes and stuff like that. I saw a behind the scenes thing on YouTube and it was like the whole interview was pretty much that nobody had ever ridden a bike the whole time and they're showing oh, yeah. like the fight scenes and stuff and they're just on these like fake bikes. I'm like, ah, oh, that part kind of sucks. But mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lot of like weird bike stuff, but I get it. You know what I mean? It's it seems just... that 
it seems the movie was written by someone who's never actually seen a motorcycle. <laughs> they just like know what they are. They just like they like the, the concept of a motorcycle. So they're like, yeah, let's let's make a motorcycle movie. They think a motorcycle is like some kind of anime weapon that can do anything. The party is getting hunted down by the Reapers again, and there's like five scenes of them just getting chased by the Reapers. But this is one where they they hide out in a mine shaft for a little bit, which is just there. They concoct a plan to absolve Ford by matching his chain or they by matching Vince's chain to Vince's bike that he used to strangle the guy because that is apparently a thing you can do like it's is that real I don't think so it can't be it's real like every sprocket has its own fingerprint <laughs> who, yeah we got yeah. It. I'm like all right cool who someone's would been be like trained waiting. to match a bike chain to a sprocket that makes zero sense someone's been waiting their whole life to write that as a story plot and then while they're in the mine shaft a Ford drops Dominic Toretto's catchphrase for seemingly no reason. He says, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I just gotta have fun with it. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense in the context of the film unless like the character had watched the Fast and the Furious and was just quoting it. That's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. Like what else well, would it be? The whole purpose of that line was just so people in the theater can just be like, hey, yeah. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably in the trailer, for sure. Yeah, for yeah. The commercials. Except you already pissed off those people by saying the cars suck. <laughs> okay, can we talk about the music video thing? How everything, every shot is filmed music video style where it's overlit. Yeah, And yeah. just looks ridiculous. I, I like it. I think it's bad in a movie, but it works for cheesiness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and the reason for that, of course, is because it was done by Joseph Kahn, who I, f- I think this was his first feature, and he didn't do too many after this either. But <laughs> <laughs> I would but, I would totally hire this guy if I ever got a show, if he's still around, because this is something that's special, and it would be fun to force this on people. Yeah, that would be fun. But, but yeah, so mostly he is known for doing like a million music videos. Like he's done pretty much every Britney Spears video. He did all of Shakira's videos. He did uh, Gwen Stefani videos. Before he did like pop videos, he also did like Corn and Faith No More, which is funny. <laughs> okay, yeah. so if he did Corn, he probably did the Bullet Time, which comes in later in this movie as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, this is awesome. This is all my favorite 90s music videos combined in a anti-car motorcycle movie. Yeah. And then and they're running the, t- the Top Gear filter nonstop where it's a like gradient from the top down. It looks like everybody is wearing sunglasses. Like you're watching the movie through sunglasses. Yeah, but it's, a, it's like a real filter on the camera. It's not a post filter. I'll, I'll send you the, the Amazon link. You can, if you click on it, proceeds go to me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so then, uh, then Ford and Cube have another big dumb chase through this location that they just call the Pines. And there's just Palms. like a... Oh yeah, the palms, not the pines. But yeah, they're going through these palm trees, and then one of one of Cube's uh, gang members he pulls out two guns and is just shooting them with no hands on the motorcycle. <laughs> so, so I didn't notice that. So you guys are from the states. Is that a real thing? Is that a no. real place, or is this a totally made up kind of palm oh, tree? The palms. I don't know. There's places with palm trees, so I'd imagine that was like a farm that they were using for like potted plants or something and they just filmed there all the all the footage they filmed through there was weird fast forwarded mm-hmm. and and weird effects and at that point i'm like oh all the practical stuff is gone and it's kind of getting cheesy 3d and i'm starting to get disappointed which oh, yeah. would be later redeemed <laughs> by the end it, yeah exactly it uh, reminded me of the speeder bike chase in return of the jedi mm. oh yeah yeah definitely <laughs> much worse looking yes <laughs> yeah it's like they maybe they wanted the redwood forest, but they got the palms instead. <laughs> so then they have a big dumb chase uh, around a train, through a train, and on top of a train, and that's all fantastic. <laughs> Can I make a note about the train? Yeah. Right, so it's an EMD E series. It's like an E like E eight or E nine, which like is a train from the fifties. Oh yeah. And the sixties, and why is that there in? in early 2000s california would that even be in commission <laughs> at that point nope yeah i mean it was 
it was probably something the studio like owned that was decommissioned 20 30 years ago um, yeah but the director might have also been what's what are train people called who hang out near trains and take photos of them train people i don't know no train people. there's a special name for uh train spotters steam heads <laughs> then cube he he is he jumps like off of the train and is going like on top of the train tracks and you can tell the bikes are going like five miles an hour when they're doing that but yeah when, so hmm. when he started going through the train i'm like this is stupid and he started going through the train i'm like okay i'm back in it yeah, yeah. and the drop the drop was very terminator too mm, yeah so yeah so then cube he punctures a tire on the train tracks uh and then ford he's about to get away but he turns around to rescue cube uh and the bike gets run over by the train and then he once again demonstrates his ability to, to, to teleport because they're standing on opposite sides of the train and Cube, Cube has a bike on his side. Ford does not have a bike. So all he could have done was just walk away, yet he, he loses Ford. Cube loses Ford somehow. And then the party stows away inside of a stock car trailer that they just found at like a truck stop. Uh, and they're just hanging out there, which is then going to smuggle them into L.A. So they can't get to L.A. because there's like cops surrounding L.A. entirely, which there's a lot of cops in L.A., but I don't know if there's that many. Uh, so, yeah, so then they stow away in this truck for a while. Uh, the feds, uh, Adam Scott, he sees security footage uh, at the truck stop and figures out that they're in the truck. So then the truck gets stopped. And then so Ford's solution to this is to blast the stock car out of the trailer, which uh, is is awesome. And that was a, that was a practical effect, too. And it looked pretty good. <laughs> just the stock. Yeah, car it just... was a Pontiac, too. Yeah, OK, yeah. you 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 blew over one of the most important scenes is uh, peak Dane Cook showing up as a chopper guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has at a, the barbecue or whatever. Yeah. And then he's not guy... even a chopper guy. He's like a poser. Yeah, well, he's yeah. he's also a nine eleven guy, so. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We'll he did. That. Hmm. He also used the phrase "buddy list." Oh yeah. He says, "I got to send this to everybody on my buddy list." Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that Dane Cook cameo, it's like, of course, because like every every movie in this time period, like, it had to have Dane Cook in it for for some reason. <laughs> have you seen him recently? No. Look look him up. You got Is some he like uh, got some work done. He's, uh, he's uh, super into weightlifting and plastic surgery on his face. Cool. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, so then this stock car blasts out of the truck. It's an amazing jump, slow-mo. It has, like, Budweiser uh, cases, of course, just get flung uh, in every direction. And then you've got the uh, the the stock car flying down the, the highway in L.A., which is pretty cool. And then they do, like, a, a switch-off where Ford and Ponytail Guy switch places so that he can go off and do his own thing while the rest of the party, like, chills, I guess. And so, yeah, so then then the, the Reapers and the Feds are both going after Ford. Uh, and then Adam Scott is driving like an absolute maniac in, in the Humvee. <laughs> and he, the, the Humvee, like... Go they just crushed two cars out of nowhere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it does it does like a barrel roll through the air and as it's doing that you can clearly see that it has like no drive shafts or anything, but that's whatever. Uh, so and yeah, so then there, there's one one favorite scene right before that when he got in the Humvee to chase after them, there was the key shot where he put the key in the ignition and put his yeah, foot yeah. down. If you slow mo that, somebody must have built a gigantic key attached to a camera slider or something. Mm. It looked, it was very small clip that someone put a lot of effort into and yeah. say the director is watching this right now. I would like him to <laughs> acknowledge that or see that we acknowledge that because I'm pretty sure Craig Lieberman watched our whole Too Fast video and his last right. two weeks of posts have been directly targeting everything we said. Yeah, I'll, I'll get uh, Joseph Kahn subtweeting me in a minute. <laughs> yeah, so then... And are, aren't you a little surprised they actually got into a NASCAR or stock car and drove off? I thought for sure they're going to be like, yeah, this car's stupid. We're not going to give it any showtime or anything and sure enough they use yeah. that a lot i mean you gotta pay it turns out cars didn't so. yeah <laughs> you gotta pay respect to the good ones i guess but yeah he does make a comment about like it getting stuck in traffic 
Um, yeah, yeah. He, still, he still didn't like it all the way. So then Adam Scott's hover is spiraling through the air, and it lands upside down and pancakes Dane Cook's uh, Porsche 993, which it just made me so sad. It, it looked like a perfectly good car, <laughs> and they just crushed it. Cube and Ford, they have a very awkward fight scene until finally they just talk to each other and figure out what is actually going on. And then Ford is like, I didn't kill your brother and I'm going to try and prove it. And if if you find out later, just kill me anyway. And so then, then they're on the same side now. <laughs> they decide that they're going to take Vince down together. Uh, at which point, at which point we are introduced to the awkward double focus shots did you notice those they weren't they weren't split diopter shots mm -hmm. like the phone shot right they were actually uh composited yeah yeah i figured they were because like if 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 it was a like real shot it wouldn't have looked that awkward i don't think but i, I have seen them use split diopters in a couple i think they used a lot in sabrina the teenage witch the new one on oh, netflix yeah. Mm -hmm. But those shots are pretty cool. But okay, I'm watching it in the mirror right now. There was two shots where they uh, did a pan, a dolly pan with the gun and kept the helicopter in the background mm -hmm. and did it the other way. And if you think about how difficult that is, these guys are saying their lines. The camera operator is also timing the pan to the, hel to the helicopter and the gun. That is also a very legit shot that you wouldn't see in a lot of other movies. There was one shot earlier that I think I missed where sorry i keep talking about camera shots it's just kind of like what i like the most mm -hmm. there was ice cube looking left and right and they did the the pan out what is it is dolly out zoom in and zoom in dolly out that was cool do you remember that one it's when you change the focal length but you move the camera at the same speed yeah 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 that was that was very epic of this music video director who i hope sees our video yeah exactly <laughs> I thought it was interesting how they kept zooming in on Ice Cube fun uh, four different times. Mm. But which just is a Jericho shots. 941, by the way. Mm. Is that a good fun? It's the same fun from the anime Cowboy Bebop. Oh, I saw two episodes of that. We're teased about a Rolls Royce rocket engine bike existing, which yeah, I didn't yeah. know was a thing. Mm -hmm. Not a yeah, rocket it's engine. It's real. It's a helicopter turbine Hel engine. Helicopter yeah. turbine yeah. engine. Was mm -hmm. it made by Rolls Royce still? The, yes. the Did I engine, hear that correctly? The engine is made by Rolls Royce, yeah. not the bike. Yeah. 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 The bike is it's a nineteen ninety nine Y two K. It's a real bike. Yep. That's um, that's cool. Jay Leno has one. Mm -hmm. So then so yeah, after that it's revealed that Adam Scott, he was crooked, he was in league with Vince the entire time, and he shoots his partner, uh, and then cut to a big dumb fight scene where you can't tell what is happening at all. I uh, couldn't make heads or tails of it. What did you think about that fight? <laughs> uh, I know that that for fun shot sent her back about 20 feet into a bunch of tires, which was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. And Bond can do that, right, Alex? No. <laughs> yes, that's right. All right, just checking. And then we hit the 70-minute mark of the movie, which is when it just suddenly becomes amazing. Okay, that this at that point... I had the little bit of 3D stuff from the chase through the palms. And I'm like, okay, kind of cheesy. It's not all practical. And at this point, I gave up. I'm full in. This is great. Let's go for it. It seems like they're fighting inside of a PlayStation 2. Ford, he, he jumps on the special magic Y2K bike and immediately goes supersonic. Did you notice that when he jumped on that rocket bike or whatever, he magically appeared to have glasses on? Just, I saw that. I'm like, I, I like that there's no explanation. They're just given to you. He's like, he has glasses now. He's the cool guy on a motorcycle, and this is going to make CG a lot easier. Yeah, he used his teleportation <laughs> spell again. Uh, Adam Scott's partner, she is holding this explosive charge, and uh, she blows up Shane's garage along with Adam Scott, and it seems like is blowing herself up as well, which seems odd, like... She just felt like she needed to die at that point. But yeah, blows up the entire shop. Uh, all of our other characters are like sprinting out. The entire garage is destroyed. And then she just shows up fine again like 10 minutes later. Yeah, I assume she was uh, just yellowing her way out of there. Adam Scott, he gets blown up for no other reason than just to exit the script. And then... 
<laughs> so we've got we've got Ford. <laughs> we've got Ford on the magic bike and he he revs it up and the exhaust like blasts people that were just happen to be standing there just like off of their feet, which is hilarious. <laughs> and takes the fastest left turn in the world. Yeah, yeah. And and at this point it it just completely turns into a PS2 game and he is he is going so fast through this ps2 game it it must be the speed of sound i don't I, how fast is he going like i hope a mathematician or something can oh. watch that back and tell us how fast i think they just stopped he's, he, he's like mock two or three yeah, <laughs> yeah and then and then at that point we're also getting the girl motorcycle yeah. fight sponsored yeah. by pepsi and mountain, mountain dew, mountain dew. And, yeah. and i think there was a doritos ad in there a little earlier as well mm -hmm. yeah Yes. Which I don't care. I don't mind it. I like seeing that stuff. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the bike foo fight, which appears to be Pepsi versus Mountain Dew. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess it ends with the it was a backflip kick or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they're like slamming like the the wheels into each other. It's ridiculous. It ends with them like going in a straight line, like punching and kicking at each other. But the thing about like this stretch, uh, like under an overpass, is it's maybe a hundred feet. Like you can clearly see from one end to the other, and then and then when they're like going at each other in the straight line, it seems like they are going for miles. <laughs> and it's also a uh, food market slash homeless <laughs> encampment, I think. Yeah, well, that's America for you. <laughs> you wouldn't know about and that in Canada. <laughs> the music was. Um... The music in the background was Static X's Push It, because I looked it up. Oh, yeah. It was like, I hate this song. <laughs> and <laughs> I looked it up, and Static X described that song as, quote, this is from their Wikipedia, quote, evil disco. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. We've got Ford chasing down Vince at one trillion miles per hour so vince does vince also have a rocket harley no he's on a like turbine harley he's on like he's a suzuki v twin which i don't know how he's going that fast he has like nitrous <laughs> yeah so this suzuki v twin is also going a billion miles an hour or just slightly slower than a billion because he catches up to him and so vince vince yeah he's shooting it forward punctures the fuel tank which is then flaming up and we've got ford now having to outrace the flames <laughs> yeah and also also this entire time as he's like passing people it's like shattering windows and like blowing people away and it's uh, it's so ridiculous like you have to see it to believe it <laughs> do you think the director was thinking they've sat through this much of it let's just do the dumbest thing we can think of there are no there are no more rules we yeah. are running out of time do silly stuff let's get this movie finished yeah clearly clearly nobody had any standards so they just went for it <laughs> which i appreciate because like you know up until like the 70 75 minute mark i was like <laughs> uh, like i didn't really like the movie yeah. and then i was immediately on board. oh yeah <laughs> i was like oh yeah <laughs> I like this movie now. Once they said like, like Rolls Royce turbine engine rocket bike, I'm like, yeah, I'm on board now. Yep. You Go know, you it. know they're going to actually show that bike, and it's going to do some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we also get the corn music video bullet time, which ignited that flame that was chasing them. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, Ford, Ford ends ends this whole uh, debacle by barrel rolling his bike and then precisely landing on top of Vince, uh, at which point the flame trail catches up to the bike and it explodes, sending him flying through the air, and then he tumbles underneath a bus's tire, which stops just in time for him not to be, you know, horribly crushed. <laughs> and then he did, just, What did you think of the CG in this? It was bad. Was it worse than Too Fast and Furious, or was it definitely. fast enough that you didn't mind? Oh, it was, it was definitely worse. Uh, like... Like the CGI shots in Too Fast were like a couple seconds at the most. This was like minutes. <laughs> but they they ended it with that big nasty real explosion, which was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So he 
he goes from you know a billion miles an hour uh having an explosion happen in his crotch and then skidding under a bus and then he just gets up and he's fine <laughs> well he's got the motorcycle what are the motorcycle outfits called uh leathers it's revealed the fbi agent uh lady the cornrows is completely fine uh, after blowing himself up, which Ford was also fine after blowing himself up, so I guess it's consistent. Ford is presenting the sprocket to her, and it's like, here you go. She's like, okay, I guess. He shot He shot at me, and I blew him up. I think I know the answer. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. This is admissible as evidence. And what is it? What is the, the riding off into the sunset down the right. desert song end with? It was... It's Nickelback. It's Nickelback. It's Nickelback. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Nickelback. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was good. I'm like, this is very 2004 with the Nickelback. I did notice at the end of the movie, there's like a literal handshake. Meeting. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say that. You've got a manly handshake between Cube and Ford. And then he immediately says, just like, sorry about your brother. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, it's it's okay, I guess. <laughs> well, it wasn't technically his fault. It was, I guess, his brother's own fault for trying to set up all those deals. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I, I just don't feel like that's the best way to pay your condolences, honestly. <laughs> and then we've got them riding off, who then, uh, Ponytail Guy's uh, girlfriend just joins them. She is now uh, part of the crew. Wasn't before, but she is now. And they all go to Mexico. I guess none of them have anything else going on except for following Ford wherever. You know what we didn't see in that whole movie is one biker wave to another biker passing each other. That's true, yeah. It's not, not even accurate. one. For a biker movie, come on. You need to watch Wild Hogs for the accurate biker representation. My favorite part about you suggesting this movie for me was that I didn't know it existed and it's very rare that I haven't seen a trailer for a movie that spoiled the movie for me first. So just going in blind is one of the best experiences I can have and I loved it. Loved every minute of it. Yeah, like I made the mistake of watching the trailer of this movie and the trailer like was like, yeah, I know exactly what this movie is. And then it, it didn't surprise me one bit. Because the trailer is like said it exactly. Of course, every bit of marketing uh, for this movie, like it shares one producer with the Fast and the Furious. So like every marketing is like from the creators of the Fast and the Furious. It was one one producer that was between uh, them. The first one, the second one, and Triple X. Yeah, yeah. Which that producer Which he also sense. worked on the recent Fast and Furious too. But but that made sense for Ice Cube being in there because he was in the second Triple X. Yeah. And. Uh, I, spoiler alert, filmed on Triple X3 with Vin Diesel in the airplane scene. Mm -hmm. And I, Vin Diesel walked up and he looked at me holding my camera and I smiled at him and then I looked away because you're not supposed to talk to actors on set. That's my Vin yeah. Diesel story. Actors are a bunch <laughs> of weirdos. <laughs> ah, whatever. You can't blame them. Everyone wants to like, say hi and talk to them. They just got to do yeah, their I job. Yeah. I, I mean, I, don't know. I would act that way like not because i'm big and famous but because that's just how i act <laughs> this y2k bike at the end of the film is is real and it's powered by a rolls royce helicopter turbine which makes like i think it was like 320 horsepower uh and they claim the bike will do like 250 miles an hour but it, it needs quite a bit of run-up to actually hit that i don't think it goes a billion miles an hour <laughs> Uh, let's just go with our, our final thoughts, favorite moments, favorite characters, etc. Uh, my favorite, favorite moments, uh, pretty much, pretty much all, all of the dumb chase scenes. I love, I love the train chase. I love the guy firing two pistols on a bike. That is so absurd that you can't help but love it. Uh, and then I, you know, love the PS2 game at the end. <laughs> and the bike foo fight um but as far as characters go like there aren't really any characters at, well i do like i do like the the fbi agents because it's just like they're so like screwball uh that it's hilarious like they even make a comment on it i think one of the cops does he's like you're you guys are federal agents and but yeah they they look like college students and that's that's funny 
Uh, so, yeah, Yuri, what, what do you got to say? Uh, I'm awful because, as always, pretty much the whole movie, I loved every minute of it. I, the only thing I didn't like was the, all the off-road chases that didn't really do it for me. Any desert stuff that was like, looked weird, but I really liked the, the way they approached filming cars. I thought that car scene was really fun. And the first scene where they're driving through the mountains, ri riding through the mountains and playing, I think, Jane's Addiction, that was like a really cool way to set the tone for the film, which completely fell apart at the end and became a Nickelback video game, which was still awesome. <laughs> so Torque, I, I said 84 minutes, but really the movie ends at 80 minutes and then it goes to credits. Um, I paid $4 for oh, it to rent was it. Was it worth it? I'm, it was certainly worth some amount. You, of you rented it? Not, I did. I bought it. I, 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 it, was, <laughs> it was $5 to rent or $10 to buy. So I just went with the, the wow. buyer. It, it, was, it was not worth buying it. Um, but I, as far as like what I actually liked, uh, like I didn't like the movie, but I really liked the, the turbine bike chase at the end. Like I thought that like when they just took realism and like put it on that rocket bike and shot it through the city, like that was my favorite scene. That was actually like, I don't want to say cool, but it was like my, my lizard brain was like, yeah, that that's really cool. In, in its own way, it was kind of a vision of things to come because it is, uh, you know, in the first movie, because two orc uh, is to be announced. So <laughs> <laughs> too yeah. orc, too tight. Yeah. So it, it <laughs> torque, like it immediately reaches the ridiculousness of the fate of the furious and all of those, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. So then, but as for recommending this movie, I would say go on YouTube and just watch, watch the Y2K chase and watch the, watch the bike foo scene and then watch the stock car chase and then you've pretty much gotten 90 percent of the enjoyment you're going to get watching this movie and maybe watch the train chase too and that's really all you need what do you two think i feel like you're telling someone to watch the whole movie but i think i did find the whole movie for free on youtube as well when i was oh really scenes <laughs> i'm pretty sure i did yeah <laughs> like it was it was a rip and they didn't even bother to copyright it they're like it's the only way it's going to be seen let's keep it up and then uh, watch an episode of Parks and Rec, and you'll just get the idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was I was actually gonna say just watch some uh, Shakira videos afterwards, and you'll get some kind of enjoyment out of that. I like I like the music video style for a movie. I don't know how many of those I could watch, but I'm happy that it was put down the way it was. It was 24 minute music videos stitched together into an entire mm -hmm. movie. Yeah, and then the rally at the beginning is like literally a music video. <laughs> Yuri, you got stuff. What you got? Uh, stray pipes on youtube or you can go yuri tereshin on youtube where i'm doing reviews of these lights that i'm using to light myself and smart home equipment now or pretty much whatever else i want to do uh my twitter account i guess um i'm at at venom lance um that's all i got going on i'm right here on this youtube channel so check check me out subscribe uh got Three three videos before this of drive-in theater you can check out. Got Too Fast, Too Furious, also with Yuri. Got The Love Bug with Joe Ligo and Tony Scott. And then uh, just did Gone in 60 Seconds uh, this week with uh, with uh, ah, who did? Matt Becker, who was also on Too Fast, Too Furious. And then uh, Jake Thieves. So, yeah, check those out if, you, uh, if you're into that, you know, hours of content hours more coming up and yeah check those out i'm also on twitter and instagram that's just motor friend with an underscore in the middle i have a website motorfriend.net that has basically nothing on it but check that out <laughs> and uh, that's me any more closing thoughts before uh we shut the whole thing down if, if you have any more movies like this that i don't know about please let me know i would love to watch them mm -hmm. i don't know about motorcycle movies i'm kind of I'll watch Biker Boys next month or something, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alex, you got anything? Uh, I want to get a motorcycle license just so I can know how to fight. With the <laughs> yeah. Is that on, on the permit test? It should be. If it's not, it should be. 
I'm going to ask about it during the test. When will we learn how to fight with the motorcycle? Please remember to replace the speaker on the post when you leave the theater.